not the usual sound you'd expect to hear from a Welsh band, but just like the lost prophets of funeral for a friend, the joy formidable are passionate about music. The three-piece, now consisting of frontwoman Ritzy, bassist Ridian and drummer Mad, got noticed after their debut single Austere appeared on the Channel 4 program Skins last year. But to really understand what the trio are about, you should check them out live. We kind of definitely put quite a bit of pressure on ourselves to sort of really put on a good show, you know. I think it's, you know, it's a very special thing that people come to see you live and they want to escape into your music. So I think, you know, I think we've we sort of become kind of quite a, a passionate sort of live band. So. Meanwhile, the bands moved camps from their hometown Mould in Wales to London. And while this relocation was more for logistical reasons, Ritzy insists Wales will always remain a part of their identity. The, uh, the 8 track CD was recorded in Wales. I think a lot of the debut album is going to be done there. You know, there's obviously a really, you know, big connection uh, with Wales as a, you know, as a centre, centre for writing. I think somewhere where we like to go to escape, you know, and we also like to escape from it. Their sound has been described as dreamy indie pop. Not surprising when you consider the Joy Formidable prefer to record their tracks in the bedroom. When we were demoing our stuff, we realised that the sound that we'd hit on, you know, was actually what we liked. You know, it sort of served its purpose in the demo, but it was, you know, the development of that was more what we wanted to achieve than maybe going into the studio and, you know, getting it done, you know, in a different way. I think we kind of wanted to keep that. So. The Joy Formidable's new single is out now. Greyhounds in the Slips is the band's first release since their 8-track EP. It was recorded together with ex mansoon singer Paul Draper. There are also a couple of live shows coming up. They'll be supporting the editors next month, as well as Passion Pit and The Temper Trap.